In this demonstration, we're going to look at overall equipment effectiveness, or OEE, as it's sometimes called. Probably the easiest way to demonstrate this is just to jump right in and create a scenario. I'll start by clicking the New button. And I'm going to choose Update by Plant. This essentially loads all the equipment and makes it available for use in this OEE analysis scenario. I'll start with one equipment item. Okay, let's hypothetically say we have a situation where we are going to run for one day. There's 1,440 minutes in a day, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in here 1,440 for the total scheduled time. And notice Mate Smart calculates the scheduled date time automatically for us based on our minutes. Okay, in this case, we're going to say we had during this time 90 minutes of scheduled breaks and 25 minutes of unscheduled downtime. We produced a total of 20,000 pieces and of those 20,000, 19,780 were good pieces. In the best world situation we would hope to be able to turn out 16 pieces per minute with this equipment. So that will be considered our ideal run rate. Okay, I'm going to give this schedule a name. And I click the plus sign and type it in. There we go and I think I have all the pieces here. Please note that you can use this checkbox and Main Smart will automatically pull the downtime from the schedule. In this case we just type it in manually. So I'll click Save and the program generates a new record. Well let's take a look at this. Our availability 98 0.15%. Availability was generated by looking at our operating time, which is the scheduled time, less our breaks and our downtime. Okay, so that's our actual operating time. Operating time divided by the scheduled time gives us the availability of the equipment. So that's where that first value comes from. Quality, 98.9, .9, is going to be our good pieces divided by our total pieces. Performance has a little bit more to it. Performance is going to take our operating time Okay, that's our operating time once again is the planned production time less our downtime. And it's going to divide that by our total pieces. And it's going to take that value as the denominator and put the ideal run rate over that as a numerator. So that's going to give us our performance. To generate our OEE, we'll multiply each of these by the other. The beauty of the OEE is we have this value. It gives us a general direction if compared to other OEE values. But it's broken down so we can actually see what's going on with each component. Is it a quality problem? a performance problem or maybe we're just having excess of downtime. Once we have this information of course we can evaluate this further. 
Okay, so that is essentially OE. There are a couple other things on this screen that would likely be of value to you. For example, you're probably going to want to report. So we're going to go to the file print, report, and there's quite a few different ways to report. All this picked by equipment. We can pick a date range and an equipment item and we get a report. Now this just has one item in it so it's not giving us much of a chart. It's got one data point but it does bring it out in a printable format and as with all of the screens in the program you can always go file save and save this as Excel. So that is essentially how OEE works. Now there's a lot of information online about this if you want to dig in or if you'd like more personalized instruction on this feel free to contact CMMS University and we could schedule a personalized web demo with you.